Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're splitting small stuff with a box wedge. That's right. Just see how efficient it is with the box wedge. Do you actually need a four-way? You know what I mean? That's basically what I'm gonna get at here today with splitting this small stuff. Uh, obviously, you need a four-way for possibly the bigger, knottier stuff. I'm gonna show you that you can get away with a box wedge with splitting the small stuff. So I also did an update to the conveyor. I'm gonna show that to you right now. All right guys, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see or not. I used to have the Grizzlies here. I moved it back roughly four inches. And so far I haven't had any jam ups and I split basically I have a trailer load of wood here, which is awesome. I only pop riveted fast for the time being, see how it works. I might actually move it back two more inches or so because it's right on the edge. Let me bring you up here and show you what's going on. So before, with the grizzly bars way out to the edge here, when the wood would fall off, it would hit this and then these paddles would drag the pieces down inside here. So now that it's back farther the wood actually falls and hits here and then goes into the trailer so like i said i might actually move them back two more inches then i'll be really really good but right now like i said i split half a trailer load of wood here and it hasn't jammed up on me since all right let's get back down here and split some of the small wood and make it even smaller wood guys as you can see here some of these smaller pieces you're actually getting three decently sized pieces for bundles coming out the bottom and then you resplit it you get two more so you're actually getting five pieces from some of these smaller pieces which is actually pretty nice uh, if you just had a standard four-way you just split it in four and be done but uh, some of these you're definitely getting a little more premium bundle of stuff out of the smaller wood.
I said, a lot of this is just shaved off bark. You know what I mean? Like I said, nobody burns, nobody wants to burn bark. Yeah, I made that one too. But this is the stuff that was winging out the sides. Instead of sending it up the conveyor, just grab it and toss it into the gator here. A little less cleanup. I'm just sorting through it to show you what actually came through. I mean, that's a piece of bark there. So, like a lot of this is just shredded bark. I mean, you have some wood that got shredded. You know what I mean? There you go. Shredded wood and bark. Decent pieces that I can use here. You know what I mean? Let's go see what the grizzly bars took out. Looks like a good bit of fines. Um, there's a decent piece I can burn. All burnable stuff for me. Again, this is mostly just shredded bark. A little bit of shredded wood. But, like I said, most of it is bark. You know what I mean? So, that stuff was just big enough to where the one wedge was just scraping off the bark on the outside. I said, you do have some bigger chunks that were slightly large and the outside wedges that it could reach sheared off, or split off the edge, you know what I mean? But grizzlies are working good now, that's awesome. Heap of wood in there. So like I was saying guys, the box wedge can split smaller wood. You know what I mean? Obviously you're gonna get four pieces out of it. You could do it with the four way, or you can leave the box wedge on. And with this pizza wedge, people are asking how big of splits can you get? Well, you're gonna get roughly a two and a half inch wide piece by however high you want it. Probably up to at least five or six inches. You know what I mean? So you got the whole length of this wedge here to work with when you move it up. So you can split all different types of sizes, but it's gonna be roughly two and a half inches unless you get to the outer wing here and then it's gonna be as wide as the wood is coming through. With the bigger pieces, you do get some bigger stuff coming off here. You just pull that off, throw it on your log lift and re-split it. Just like splitting that top piece of the smaller wood. But uh, see that big boy? I'm probably gonna change to the other seven way in a video coming up to split that for me. I cut my stuff at around 17 and a half, 18 inches, because I need to restock my stuff. Got a lot of wood over here, basically from the top of the yard up there, all the way down here where I'm currently stacking. So I do have to fill in that corner again, because that's what I've sold so far this year. Um, a lot of this bigger stuff is gonna go for me uh, and my home heating use, but, as you can see behind me, I'm already getting uh, the next third of a cord ready to split and do a time trial with now that I sharpened the wedge and got the kinks fixed on the conveyor. So, see my slash pile over there? That's growing, but don't worry. I've been having a fire going like for four days. I've been burning as I'm splitting, so it's no big deal. You got a hot enough fire you can burn that stuff up in no time. I said the, the little bit of slash you get, at least you have wood to burn anytime you wanna burn it. You're not dipping in to your stash or your inventory to have a fire at your place. You can just burn the slash. You can burn that stuff all night long. You know what I mean? No big deal. Anyway guys, I got some slash to burn, so that'll be it for this one. Again, if you guys like this type of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Tell one of your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo!